All right, Zach, do you want to hit that button? Get us oh, started? Yeah, I forgot how we start this thing. Oh, what am I going to say? Fuck. Mm, no. Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. In the comments, tell me what you think your best music is. It's not the same as favorite. Best. Let me know. Little Z. I'm going to do more yoga this year. Pop it one. I've been coming around to country music. Anyone can send me some hype country music. And Director Cogger. <laughs> Played darts last night. I was really bad at it. Jordan, you've <laughs> stolen my bit now. I'm not going to know which recommendations are good and which ones are country. No, no, say uh, Jordan, to Jordan. To in Jordan. Brackets. Okay, yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks, right. thanks. R- respect. Um, Zach on the yoga. Oh, I was going to say, what's best music? We'll, cut, we'll circle yeah, back. Yeah, we can get back to that. What, what do you mean? I was already on the yoga a little. No, no, but like literally like three weeks ago, I was like, Zach, New Year's resolution, you should do more yoga. And you were like, meh. Oh, you planted the I seed. I feel like I wasn't like that. I've been wanting to do more yoga for like a month. Oh, Well, I did oh, say about three what? weeks ago, so that's about a month. Yeah, yeah mate, I do you have... planted the seed and he doesn't know. Play the clip. Pretty bad memory, so yeah. Play the clip, Jackson. That's probably definitely editing. happening. I won't. I know. It's, <laughs> it's pretty hard having your life like recorded on like podcasts and gaming episodes and that. Cause I can just get called out for this shit. Like I'm like, I didn't say that. Then you just oh, show yeah. a clip of me from three weeks ago. And I'm like, well, that wasn't me. That was me from three weeks ago. Yeah, don't so you think true. our phones are listening to us anyway? Can't they just solve our arguments for us? Yeah. I know, right? I just Google it. Like they just listen no, to us argue and they should oh, just- Oh yeah, exactly. And I it's like, uh, you, I told you about this. You're like, no, you didn't. And, and the then phone your comes in, like, like, uh, yeah, actually you did. Jackson, you did. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a Black Mirror episode for real. <laughs> I feel like my mind changes way too fast. Like I just go through so many fucking phases you're all the time. Phase fiend. It's yeah, true. but it's they're becoming more and more frequent, and there's just like, oh, one, like your phases are one week up. I'm into this, the next week I'm like completely into something. What's the new? last thing you dropped? Dropped? Because mm. um, I know you always mention probably, things that you're back on, but what is the something you dropped? I uh, didn't do enough working out over Christmas, so I need to get back into that. It's the worst the time to do it though. New year. But yeah, exactly. That's kind of why it happened. Because like Maddie had a week off, and we were doing fun stuff and Christmas shit and fun. Yeah. Is that cool though? You're like experiencing life. Like you just week, week. You're like, I'm into no, this now. It's I'm all into this now. It's all stuff that I want to be like. I'm oh, doing you know, consistently. Stuff. Uh, yeah. I think like, like, oh, like, rock climbing this week. Next week's canoeing. And then you like know? I do make it. <laughs> and then, you know, I try to make the stuff that's good, consistent, you know, mm. like the working out and like meal prepping and that. But then there'll be one week and I'm just like, oh, I'm going to like buy all my clothes on the sales and then I get hell into like, well, what clothes do I buy? Well, let's fucking look <laughs> yeah. up what, blah, 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 you know, and then it just, ah. yeah, no, I started waiting up, waking up later since like Christmas and stuff. I had like, cause jujitsu stopped for a bit and then it's like pushed me back to like yeah. sleeping in. I'm like, oh man, the schedule, the schedule. Yeah. So how are the, how's the new blood at jujitsu? Are you fucking them up? The new blood. Oh, did you see my Facebook post? I saw post? a little Facebook post from Jordan saying that there's a like my beginner's doing, course. Yeah. They're doing like an introduction course, um, which is cool for jujitsu. So I was picturing Jordan being like, I'm just sick of these people who are good. I just want to choke someone out. Hey guys. <laughs> hey, beginner's course. No, well, I won't be <laughs> in the beginner's course. So no, you'll be Jordan coach. hasn't posted on Facebook in 10 years and he's like, please, anyone let me rear naked choke <laughs> Guys, you. come in. <laughs> anyone let me rear naked no but that is a good feeling when a new person comes along you're like oh get there i think you your post was a little weird though you was like does anyone want to join the bjj i thought it was a typo Oh, like, yeah, for a big <laughs> yeah, anyone want to come over? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll join your BJJ hold the J. That is six Brazilian weeks. jiu-jitsu for those that don't know. Yeah, yeah. That would be a good status after a 10-year hiatus. Yeah, anyone anyone want to come over and give me a BJ? <laughs> anyone, hey, I mean, it would be pretty enjoyable because they're Brazilian. Ah. <laughs> oh, are they good at that? No, like Brazilian waxed. Oh. Like, like no pubes. It doesn't really matter for the boy. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I get you. I love how I'd say Brazilian oh. wax for Peter and you were like, oh, and then I said no pubes and Jordan's like, oh, it's like getting more <laughs> dumb. lower down. Brazilian. I see. Uh, uh, yeah, so Jackson, best best music. I think I, I go through a lot of music and I'm like, this one will hold up, this one won't. You know what I mean? Oh, like it'll still be good in five years time. Yeah, like that's why like the best stuff will oh. hold up a bit better because there's some music that I go through and I'm like, I'm, in lo- I'm enjoying this a lot, but 
uh, is it good? Yeah. What song has held up the least? Do you guys reckon? Do you have any stand what, that we like or what? Animals what? recently. The ones that oh, had a massive. Mark Garrix, that's yeah, a big one. Yeah, that doesn't hold up. Yeah, absolutely had to be like, there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's just got too slow of a. It takes so long, and then they do it, and it's cool, and it's then they do it again. So iconic. And it was like a really a piece of the time, but you kind of did have to be there. But yeah. I think it holds up in that in that vibe. I think it does hold up a bit. He was really young when that came out, wasn't he? Yeah, he was like eighteen or maybe even younger. Yeah, maybe even know. younger. Respect. I think one that doesn't hold up in society, but I personally still like a lot, is "What Does the Fox Say." I thought you were going to oh, say that R does R not Kelly hold song. up. No, nah, it does. No, it doesn't. I'm a big fan of Elvis. Like I went and watched like a bunch of their other music stuff. I'm a big fan of just comedy songs in general. Yeah, I so think like anything that's me, silly, you can't really say it doesn't hold up because it's like, what, do you think it's like... Yeah, I always hated always what silly. the fuck say. So. It's always going to be silly. <laughs> it's held up. It's held up. <laughs> it's kept that up. Yeah. John's well, is held down. Yeah. Fucking when will the bubble stop? It's like Gangnam Style. It's just, it's always going to hold up because it's always stupid. It, like you can't, yeah. stupid is timeless. Yeah, Respect. Gangnam Style still going strong. Okay, so the thing, the, the thing that won't hold up will be something that we'd forgotten about, right? It's got to be forgettable. So it's so hard to just like pull it off the top of your head. Like, what's the most forgettable song from 2010? It's like, fuck, I don't know. Animals yeah, was a it. great call because I had forgotten about that. Yeah, I, do you I think was the trying to play some old ones. War the genre of dubstep, holds do you up. think that holds up? Yes. I don't know. Not forgettable, it's iconic. Holds up. I, I heard some dubstep recently. Actually, we were in the car and I just I just don't think I appreciate the drops that much anymore. It's funny. It's just mm. like too weird for me now. What, what a, song it was, a great was it? Do you phase. remember? I mean, the one you guys it played, was chicken, chicken Soup, bro. Soup, but then <laughs> also, like, hating on Chicken Soup. Oh my I can goodness. understand that. Also, like, <laughs> I did love going, because I went and saw Skrillex live. Mm-hmm. But then after that, I was kind of just like, like, it's a bit, that's the only context where I think I would like it now. Like, I listened to a dubstep song in the car after that, and I was just like, this is whack. Some of the, the old stuff is whack as fuck, for real. Respect. But it respect. Shout out to Skrillex. Run around Sue, that holds up. Shout, shout out to Skrillex, like he listens. Wait, sorry, Run, Run Around, around Sue. What? Did not remember that song? No, sing it. Uh, hey, hey, da, da, hey, hey, da, Is this the country da, da, music hey, that you're like? Hey. No, that's not, that's not country. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I know Hey, hey, hey. Do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's why we're all singing. Hey, we okay, all know okay. it. I thought, I thought hey. you didn't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would be so weird if we didn't. All okay. right. Should we um, <laughs> should we get into it? It's my favorite song. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Are, what are we getting into? The podcast. No, the rest what of that have song. What we been hey, doing? Oh, you hey. know what doesn't oh, hold no. up? The Beatles. No, no. The whole band. Zach, I've no. never listened to the, the Beatles. The whole band. I, I literally I only like just listened to the Beatles for the first time like a month ago, and I was like, "Fuck, I've been sleeping on them because it does hold up." It definitely. No, does. but in ten years, it might not hold up. Wow. It's held up for the last fifty. Yeah. In whose opinion? Not mine. Great. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, Sorry, like, news resolution. This week, we've got What's the Deal with Returning, which is Jordan's favourite segment. What's the deal with? Pa- Pokemon Shark Tank. Yep. Sharpedo Pedo Tank. Pedo tank. Pedo. Let me try that again. Pokemon Sharpedo Tank. Nice. Random topic generator comes back. We've got a new <laughs> the segment. The fans are loving <laughs> it. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. And we've got heebie jeebies. No, just That's- the crowd goes. <laughs> The crowd goes. That's really and funny. And the crowd goes. And the crowd goes. Random, <laughs> random number leave. generator segment. And the crowd That's goes. That's a good bit. And then we got the numbers game. So it's a big episode. Wow. I think we start we with our lot. magnum opus. Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who wants to? <laughs> let's, can we hear Jordan's Pokemon first? Set the bar high. Should we do it intro no. for Sharpedo Tank? You know, like the... Oh, yeah. Doom, 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 Welcome doom, to the Sharpedo doom, Tank, doom, doom, where four young invest doom, inventors doom, doom, present their Pokemon to three rich Pokemon guys. This is the Pedo Tank. Sharpedo Tank. Oh, man, hang on. <laughs> uh, get him out of here! Oh, do you know oh. how? Do you know the wait list for this show? Yeah, and you don't. You're not even prepared. Nah, Usually they say like, like I've written it, and then it's like it, it just keeps going past my screen. Should we not have briefed this uh, guy? Like it come uh, management, management. Yeah, why yeah. we get this guy? Wait, in. Security. Okay. okay. Security. No, I've got Pokemon. Oh, you're I've got lucky. Right. We're right. here all day. I went for quantity over quality. And what's your name, young man? Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you Nintendo? I guess so. No, I'm okay. rich. Oh, nice. Yeah, we just had um, lots of money. So I, I forgot about types and ab- abilities and all that. 
first types. Pokemon. So what did you do? You forgot about types. I just kind of wrote a name and then a description of what it would be. It plays the, you know, the sound effect, the, the kitchen nightmare sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> no types. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First Pokemon, Matana. Sorry? Matana. Matana. One more time. It'll make sense in a bit. Okay. Let him go. Does that matter? No. Hey, let, let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, I've just, I wrote this down last night right before I went to bed. Uh, small, skinny, black Pokemon. It evolves into a small, skinny, white Pokemon. Oh, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Every 10 levels. Is it? <laughs> and then it keeps switching. And the stats don't change. Yeah, guys, Wait. it'll make sense when I ex- <laughs> once I explain this. Yeah, all right. Oh, because it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Nah. <laughs> Does it matter? Nah. Matter now. Wow, enough. Jordan's doesn't curing matter. racism with his Pokemon. <laughs> oh, doesn't matter. It doesn't it's black or white. Yeah, it doesn't change. Uh, but what, what color is it when it's level 100? Because that's when it kind of peaks. Uh, Depends on where it is at certain levels. Yellow. Yeah. <laughs> it changes. All right, thanks. Uh, oh, okay. Boy. And the crowd goes. That was a big and the crowd goes <laughs> Okay, well, J- Jordan, does it change type when it changes color or anything like that? What type is nah, it? Nah, nothing. No stats change. It's just normal yeah. type. It's normal. Normal It's normal type. type. It's got normal stats. It's got normal moves. It doesn't matter. It's normal. Relax. Yeah. How do you spell matter now? Uh, just the word matter and then N A H at the end. Literally matter now. Does it matter? No. Nah. nah. And th- how many. There's no evolutions? There's. It evolves every constant. 10 levels. Every, every every 10. Oh, I didn't know it was an evolution. And then a yeah. de-evolution. <laughs> if only si- society could evolve like yeah. that. So yeah. that's racism. Is it like a form change or it's an evolution? <laughs> I don't know what that means. All right. All right. Next one. Next one. Um, no, c- <laughs> sensation. What does it look like? It doesn't. It's black <laughs> doesn't, and it's white. It's and it's small, a skinny dude. Yeah. It has to be it's, skinny it's for some skinny reason. And it's what, a person? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So can we get him three more? He's, can we got get three three more yeah, yeah. Yeah. he's got three more things to solve. This, one ne- sounds this next one is just an evolution chain, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. or a devolution chain, should if I you say? Will. I bet it's true. <laughs> Starting off with <laughs> sensation. Nice. <laughs> this Pokemon is like it's like a. Uh, you know Kanye? I realized I had this idea, and then I realized it was Kanye's idea. Yeah. I thought I'd come up with it first. Yeah, that does happen. Eh? You and didn't. Kanye are on pretty similar wavelengths. Uh, so have you heard Kanye guess the yeah, lyric? In the you so- can claim it. In the song uh, Devil in a New Dress, I think he says, Sensation, you're my right. sensation. Um, so yeah, this Pokemon, it's called Devil sensation. in a Dress, oh. Sensation. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you do. It is a wild Pokemon. This devilishly good looking Pokemon is a legendary party goer. However, they have been known to be a little bit too crazy. What does it look like? And this is, it's, it's a, a devil, devil in a dress. dress. It's, You're it's, listening? Oh, the right. stats are wild. It's is it crazy. Like a, is How it, big is, is it? A fire type? It's uh, six foot two. Oh, shit. It's, it's shorter than you, Jack. You're right. Yeah. It's uh, a tower over this thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, five foot eight without heels, though. It's got heels on, yes, surely. Yes, yes. Oh. Look, we're all tall. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was important to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and its stats are really good, but it starts to devolve as it, Devolves first into fall sin apart. Fall sin apart. Falls apart. Falls in apart. Like sin. falling apart. Fall sin yeah, apart. Yeah, no, like fall like sin apart. Falling apart, uh, but with sin, sin in it. Because sin says so you just really shoved it in there without any care. Well, it's for all about like, sins. It's about sinning. That's yeah, what I understand. We're going. Fall sin apart. No, Jackson, if you would you would respect <laughs> it if you got it. If I said it in a sentence, you, you wouldn't know. Go on. Oh no, I'm falls in apart. I go sorry. Yeah. No, you didn't know. I did. <laughs> Are we falls in a bar? Okay, I'm on board. Yeah, you used to need an accent. Yeah. Here's the uh, Pokedex entry. F- the it falls in a part. Yeah. How's it falls in a part? Does it stress break? Or it, is it let like, it go. Oh, God. <laughs> let him go. Yeah, I don't, I, well, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's stress breaks. Uh, okay. And it gets <laughs> Should not have let him cook, my bad. The re- something's falling apart. The result, in, but. <laughs> the result of a sensation not wanting to do any work falls in a part, a slow, gluttonous sloth. For my Christians out there, uh, they are. He's, dro- <laughs> he's dropping the sins, bro. He's oh, dropping them. Shit. They he's are- dropping all seven. <laughs> they, are- <laughs> <laughs> they are often seen hanging out with a different Pokemon every night. Oh, oh. oh. And I wrote that their horns grow, like because they're horny. Yeah, because yeah, they're more horny. Nice. This falls in apart. <laughs> falls in apart. <laughs> right. Then we Don't have- tell me it devolves again. <laughs> it yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. It devolves into. Age, yeah. I was just gonna say it quick, and you won't even know. A noise and. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Yeah. What, how, how's the noise spelt or? 
like the word annoy and then sin at the end. Uh, sorry, I should have seen that coming. I don't oh, know what you expected. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> this Pokemon has no mates. A jealous, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. jealous Pokemon who is angry and envious of other Pokemon's superior abilities. They are hostile and will attack anything they see. Luckily, they are slower than a sloth and rarely cause any harm. It's like another sin drop. So they have yeah, you all so many the sins. I dropped all the sins. Yeah. I dropped every sin. What was that one called? A noise sin. A noise sin. And it's just a big fat devil <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. And it's one foot tall. Yeah. 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 And it's, yeah, it's five foot wide. Does it still <laughs> have a, a dress? <laughs> it, could, it completely changes. Like the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. 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 It used right. to be six foot tall, one foot wide. Now it's the other way around. Reverse. Yeah. So that is my Pokemon. Um, is that like a fire type? Yeah. It's like the devil. F- yeah, fire. He doesn't uh, do types, actually. No, yeah. fire types. No, no, I had written that down. I'd thought about that. Fire type. Yeah. Had you? Yeah, I'd thought about show that. Me, show me the and um, I, I closed it. All right, so that's Jordan's Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Do we ask questions? Yeah, yeah, we're the, we're the sharks. I think we got a bit distracted from the fact that we were sharks. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I was just so blown away by the creativity here that I just really- Thank mm. you. All my business left my brain. Yeah, same. <laughs> does uh, does this, the Anoise in line have any signature moves or abilities that it- can? Signature moves, vomit. Enough said. I'm in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I feel like you really captured the essence of reality TV there, Zach. <laughs> Vomit brilliant. I'm in. So what was the line again? What were the three names? Fuck. Um, sensation. Yep. Uh, falls in a part and annoys in. Yeah. I'm in too. Yes. I'm a little bit curious. Do you reckon this will work in other languages? Um, no. It All barely right, works cool. in English. What are you talking about? <laughs> they've got to come up with it themselves. That's yeah, what they do in well, Pokemon, right? Yeah, I know. So it will work. They have to work it out. Yeah, they've got to do they it. They didn't really do much. You just shove sin somewhere as in the world. As far as the bar's yeah, pretty low yeah. for Matana, it working. Yeah. You guys forgot about Matana. Yeah. A uh, Matana. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm in for that. Yeah. Yeah, so I like Matana. I like solving racism in our games. That's good. Mm. And, and then it, I like how yours always have a moral, Jordan. Yeah, thank you. Like uh, we had Stud and Dud, Don't Do It, mm. uh, Perry. Not sure what the moral of that What's one the moral was, of but Perry? Uh, uh, I think yeah. Perry's the only one without a moral. No, no, no. There's got something there. We just are too stupid. To yeah, understand. something about oil in the ocean. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It like, was. It's like this thing is so messed up that yeah. we shouldn't have oil on our dolphins. Yeah, yes. so good. Yeah, yeah. And then you had Quickie. That's a good lesson. Yeah, for kids. Refresh my memory. Did Perry light on fire if it wasn't in the water? So yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, because it needed to spurt to put itself out constantly. Yeah. Otherwise, it kept setting on Jackson, fire. It's yeah. hot and it's cold. Yeah, yeah. it was yes, very hot. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, it, 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 is it uh, on fire? It's like, well, yes and no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's confusing. Yeah. All right, I feel like I should go next. Go for it. Yeah. Sure. Let's go from the worst to the best. Oh no, the best to the worst. I meant to say. No, you didn't. You're right. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant you were talking about your different Pokemon. I just realized that was a bit of a there was bit a of a roast. Yeah, you just stood there like, yeah. I was like, okay. Well, he's got I mean, a few you made Pokemon. Jackson retract a statement, so whatever you did worked. Yeah, because <laughs> you just sat there face <laughs> unfazed. Oh, the stare down. <laughs> okay, mine. If I try that one, just don't get it when you get roasted. <laughs> Man, this podcast is falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> Sensation. Right, mine's called. <laughs> Okay, my Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Sorry, you got to introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Jackson. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Jackson. Hey, Jackson. I, I, I like your fit, <laughs> Thank G. You. Thank you very much, sir. Go on. It, may I present? You yes. May. My Pokemon's called Dance, spelt D-A-N-T-S, Dancing Ant. Dance. Oh, wow. No, I, I'm, in. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Go. I'm in. I'm in. Already. Pun and joy is just I'm pop in. off. And that's and all that's I've <laughs> No, no, no. Dance is a dancing ant. He parties nonstop. If you see a dance not dancing, it's not them. <laughs> <laughs> what is it then? Just a regular <laughs> ant. It's just an ant. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fairly obvious, Zach. <laughs> My bad. So this one could straight up exist in the real world, but we've, yeah. just, we've dance, never seen not it. Dancing, it's not a dance. It's not them. <laughs> it's not them. <laughs> Such a funny way of phrasing it. <laughs> yeah. like, hey, I saw you at the club last night. Oh, what was I doing? It's like, oh, I don't know. Not much. And it's like, it wasn't no, me. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. me. I'm, I'm always me. dancing. If you see me at, the, me at the club, it's not me. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Unless they look sick, in which case it's me. Uh, ability, non-stop dancing. Opposing Pokemon have a one in 10 chance of missing as they're so distracted Ooh. by the moves. And that evolves into fire dance. 
like fire, fire ants yeah. and fire dance. I like nice. that. Oh, it's because it's fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What type? It's like fire emoji dance. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. <laughs> uh, and once a dance has begun to indulge in fire, he will dance with fire. It fires in all capitals there. Ooh. Evolution method, uh, method is a fire stone. Wait, fire. do people say, is it a saying like set the dance floor on fire? Yeah. It is Disco right. Inferno, baby. Oh, Ooh. shit. That should be like the final evolution, maybe. Disco Inferno. Disco How Inferno. do we make that an ant pun? We can't make it an ant pun. Disco Antferno. Antferno, yeah. How about D- do like, a bit of Jordan qu- method? Queen, <laughs> ant, queen Ant of the dance floor. That's too many letters. Uh, well. <laughs> I like Antferno, Jackson. Antferno is pretty good. Who came mm. up with that? Was that a Jordan idea? No. I think I said it, but you took out the disco part. And yeah. It's just Antferno. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's well, sick. Dance. Very nice. Dance. Just dance. Do they have good stats Gotta or are they just okay. like the size of an ant? Not great stats. <laughs> <laughs> Not great. But they're great to be around. Yeah, like great to be around. Yeah. And if you've yeah, seen it's more them, like a bard, like a supporting Pokemon. Yeah. Maybe they have like dance and then it like buffs their teammate because they're being so <laughs> cool. Oh yeah, yeah. The one in ten for the other thing not not being able to attack could be good in doubles. De- mm. Definitely. Would it, atta- would it apply to both of the opponents? And it so does. it's like a, a total like a Whoa. I guess yeah, it's a higher chance of them not attacking. Yeah, can you imagine wow. in like Pokemon worlds just a dance making both opponents not attack in a one in a hundred? <laughs> it's just on the battlefield moving. Someone loses a million dollar prize pool because of a fucking dance <laughs> on the one in a hundred. It's like the biggest troll team is just having dance <laughs> on your team. Does that it mean just it's... uses protect and just doesn't do shit? Does that mean it's a fire bug type? It was actually ground type. Ground and ground, ground find. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Oh, Bug type sucks. That's a good call. Yeah. It is actually a bug though. It needs to be better. <laughs> and you do dance on the ground though. So it's so kind smart. of which one's more Ooh. relevant. Sort of yeah. Thing. Dance. Just dance. I'm fully in. I'm on board for oh, dance. Oh yeah, are you in? Oh, I mean, I was in for I the like start. This. Hey, it sounds you, fun. You were pretty in. Uh, yeah. yeah. Dance. As soon as you said the name, I think I was <laughs> on board. I think that we should have a fire a fire bug starter. A bug doesn't get enough love. Like make Sheesh. a good fire bug. I mean, there's already a good one, but But we kinda we've used up fire ants now, so it's gonna be hard to no, find that's what I'm saying. Fire I reckon bug. If, if, if you want to change it to bug, oh, yeah. it'll be a starter because that's not they've never done that one it's before. It's the biggest troll starter. Oh, the yeah, whole yeah. game you're going through just doing <laughs> dance. <laughs> I missed. would for sure pick it though. It's so funny. All right, Zach. Um well mine's actually <laughs> I just thought of something to do with that. You could have a counterpart, you know, like Plossel and Minon. Oh, sort of okay, thing, go on. With a beetle. And it's oh. a dancing beetle, but oh, spelled like the beetle. thing. Like I think the beetle. Beatles yeah. already did that one. Yeah, but it's a Pokemon, so it's different. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> fell off bad. anyway. So. Yeah, they did fall off, sorry. <laughs> like everything, <laughs> everything's been taken. <laughs> no, nobody references them anymore because they fell off. Um, yeah, don't know what, would, what it would evolve into, but if we're making this Pokemon game, that's that's an idea. Beetle. beetle. Um, all right. My Pokemon... Uh-huh. Introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Zach. Hey Zach. Hi Zach. Creator of the La Majesty. That was pretty oh, good. I did like ooh. that one. Kangaboo. Oh my. A couple of my winners. Escargool. Anyway, today it's not as good as those. <laughs> so oh. just keep your expectations low. We start with Kafia. Sorry? Kafia. Right. How do you spell that? C A L F I A. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Kalf. Kalf. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you, it's like it's a like a calf, like a cow. Yeah. And it is in like a little suit or something. I don't know. Yeah, like mafia calf. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. get it. Calf. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> Kafia are abandoned by their mother at birth and spend their early years smuggling milk. Once a calf approves themselves, <laughs> they are invited back into the larger family. Can, a, can I just take a guess at what the next <laughs> pun's gonna be? I love um, it. I love it. I don't know. You might have a better one than me. Go on. No, no. Step. I'm just. I'm just like. I know you make good puns. So I'm just excited. Wait, what's the next one? I don't know. I'm trying to think oh, of it. Oh, okay, okay. It's going to be oh. like fucking like something along the lines it's of like- It's probably not as good as what you're expecting. I don't know. Sleeping with the cows or something? Yeah, it's going to be like <laughs> fucking- <laughs> Sleeping with it's the like cows. It's like a bu- bullet no. shooter or something. No, no. Uh, no it's not. Um, but the way that Kafia evolves is it has to uh, make 50 Pokemon faint. So it's a new evolution method. Oh, so it yeah. gets like 50 oh. kills under its yeah, belt. Kills. Yeah, kills. Yeah. Takes the dog tags. And then like it the evolves dog. into Mufioso. Oh, oh, that's good. Oh. Damn, he's good. Oh, I knew it was going to be a cow Mufioso. Yeah. Oh, by the way, these are all dark and normal type. Okay. Um, Ooh, Mufioso, fired. its udder can shoot strong jets of milk as <laughs> rapidly as a machine gun. Damn. If Whoa. you cross a Mufioso, they won't soon forget. Does it wear like a hat? Ooh. Yeah. yeah like, and now yeah, it does. It holds a Tommy gun, yeah. but it's its udder. Um, it's yeah. still kind of on all fours. It's okay. a cow, but it's- uh, How does it shoot? Well, yeah. it goes like kind of up onto up. the hind legs, but it's not fully oh, bipedal sh- But yet. it can't aim because it doesn't have hands. Yeah. yeah so, so it's just a bit of- 
Just you a know, bit of spray and pray. Indiscriminate yeah. fire. And then uh, once a Mufioso gets 100 kills... Oh, shit, there's more. It evolves into Al Calpone. <laughs> 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 That's good. Al Calpone will ruthlessly attack anyone who tries Al, to stand up to hold them. Hold on. <laughs> Al Capone. Brilliant. So it's like, are there any celebrity related Pokemon earlier in our conversation? He's like, ask him for a mate. Yeah. Anyway, here's Al Capone. <laughs> oh, yeah. I Al actually had Cal forgotten Pone. I did that. Yeah. I said, That's great. All right, uh, keep going. Sorry. And then it is said that if you find a ponytail head in your bed, you are the next target. <laughs> <laughs> the first name I had for it was the God Udder. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, too. They're both good options, aren't Al they? Al Capone, I like more. Um, and so this is sort of like a big fat cow. It's now like sitting with its like legs, like in a big spread. It's udders there. It's like a threatening fucking, basically a Gatling gun yep. coming out. And it's in like a suit. Always ready. No, it's not. It's like suit pattern, but yeah, with yeah. the cow. It's like, like a black dairy and white. cow, black and white. Yeah, but that's it's, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it makes it look I, like I, a suit. I see you. And then, yeah, big, big old face of a cow. Big old face. Big old yeah. head. Uh, is it like sitting kind of like in like a big throne or something so it's udders appointed at you or is it just sitting on its ass? Yeah, but just on its ass. Not a throne, but oh, it's, okay. it seems like it's- But it's so big it's that it's like- throne energy. Yeah, built yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Energy. Throne energy. <laughs> uh, its ability is drive-by. Nice. Special attacks hit all opponents. What? It's a pretty fucking what? good ability. What? But it doesn't get access to the best special moves because like normal dark, like- but yeah. you know, it might get dark pulse, and then it hits both opponents in yeah, doubles. But it bad. still has the <coughs> negative attack. All right, because it's thing. just udders are just spraying everywhere. Oh, it's a drive-by. Shit, they don't fucking care. Shit. That's Shit. what the mobs just do. They just go like, right. That's Drive what they the do. Street. That is what Jordan they do. Knows. Fancy yeah. civilians get hit. Who fucking cares? Godfather overrated. <laughs> uh, God and then Udder. what was it? I, what? what was the scrap name again? Uh, the God Udder. God Udder. Yeah, <laughs> so good. Uh, and then we've got a move. I don't know what this move does. <laughs> a move. <laughs> a move. <laughs> but the move is called... Signature move. Milk them an offer they can't refuse. Ooh, milk. And the crowd and goes. The crowd <laughs> goes. <laughs> we were so oh, on board no. for the rest of the place. <laughs> yeah. I lost it. Milk, milk them an offer they can't refuse. Yeah, what it does is it heals your opponent, yeah. but drops their defense to zero. Oh, Oh, that's pretty cool. To zero. Because you know how it's like, I'll make them an offer you can't and refuse. Do they and have it's to like be a, damaged? It's like a death threat. Yeah. So do they, they have like to be damaged for it to work? I reckon yeah. it should fail if they're full health. Otherwise, why wouldn't you just do it, right, in first turn? Well, like... It's an ability, right? A bit right? more strat to I that. I mean, it's... Uh, yeah. Nah. Nah. Yeah. No, let's let's go with that. Yeah, they it don't to do some healing. The, they don't accept the offer until they're uh, un, yeah, it's under so half health. Sounds like you're making them an offer, but really, it's a death threat. They can refuse it if they're in full health. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, 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 they no. Might You're right. They yeah. shouldn't be able to refuse it. So All right, my bad. It always works. It always works. <laughs> yeah. So that's my Pokemon, guys. That's well sick. Wow, that's I mean, like right. the Milkyoso. This is a that cows of the mafia Mufioso. is a crossover. Oh, I didn't, sorry. didn't know it was going to happen. That's sick. All right, I'll get mine out. Milkyoso. Hi guys. Yo, you're what? Hi guys. Hey mate, how are you? My milk. Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, a bit nervous, but I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be bringing you guys a Pokemon for the new Australian game that I heard the underdogs were making. Yes. Oh. Um, I think we've been through quite a lot of Australian animals and stuff like that. Mm. And I realized that they've been doing a bit of a trend of inanimate objects and often they make food Pokemon. So I'm going to be doing uh, a food Pokemon for the Australian Pokedex oh, today. I uh, nearly did this. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first version is just called Bix. Uh it's normal fairy type. <laughs> yes. uh, despite it, a, a, a picture, it's rectangular, kind of built like SpongeBob SquarePants with little like skinny arms and legs coming off and eyes <laughs> in the middle of it. Uh, and despite its rect uh, rectangular shape, Bix is a very high energy Pokemon. Nice. Uh, its ability is low GI. Uh, damage <laughs> taken by it is applied over two turns. So like, oh. if it was going to take 100 damage, it takes 50 damage. And the next turn, it takes another 50 damage. Yeah. That's so crazy. it's very hard to just knock out in one shot, but it'll probably die next turn. But the damage is applied over a longer time because it is a uh, yeah, low, like low, low GI. Low GI. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then when it evolves, it's just through, through, through level up. It turns into do you do, which is uh, <laughs> D-U-Y-U-D-U. Yep. Do you do. Uh, and it's kind of like a magneton type thing. It's just like 10 Bix. 10 Bix. Yeah, just 10 Bix. Uh, and then I don't really have a signature move. I couldn't really think of anything, but that's... I was going to suggest do you do as a signature move. Do you move. do, do you do. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that it just really informs people about Australian culture because 
I did a I did a po- a tweet about wheat bix. Yeah. Nobody fucking got it, and I was like, oh. I, what was the tweet? Should you explain for the pod now? I definitely like, should. Yeah, explain the reference. Uh, wheat bix. It's a cereal in Australia. Uh, they're just fucking like bricks of like, I don't know, wheat, wheat, wheat. flaked wheat. Yeah, but I wheat implies like Vita-Bix. a grain. Do they have like Vitabix or something Vita-Bix in America? Vitabix or something. I don't think so. What's the um cereal? Wheaties. Wheaties. That- it's, it's, it's like, but that's of- been turned into a brick. Yeah. yeah. And it's not good. I think it's good. Oh, it's the best. No, but I, I, it's, I had it this morning. I think it's good too. Yeah. So but I say, <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> Hang on a minute. This is like the uh, the music thing again. You know okay. what I mean? I'm like, objectively, they tasted a bit like nothing. Like I had it with honey. Yeah. I ha- you have to have it with something. Nah. I have okay, just Americans yeah. have Weetabix. Is it still in a brick? Yeah, but it looks it like a circle. Popular. So think of a rectangular Weetabix if you're American. Yeah, and I, I, the reason that Australians it, it did really well in the whole uh, advertising thing is because they made us think that sports stars all ate it. Mm. And then it really got popular with the young people who wanted to be sports stars. Same mm. with Nutrigrain. They yeah, really they had the us same by thing. the balls. Yeah, Nutrigrain does that. They're just like, yeah, Iron Man food. Eat this if you want to uh, run 200 kilometers. Mm. And the slogan was, how many do you do? How many do you do? And there was yeah. an ad. It, uh, this ad stands out in my mind because I watched it and I was like, was that real? It was like a fever dream. Mm. Yeah. It's like, was that real? And it's and then, th- them going down the line of the entire Australian rugby team at the time. And it's like, I have seven. I have six. Yeah. I have eight. And then it gets down to the captain of the Australian rugby team, George Gregan. He's going to do a few. And he's like, 33. And I'm like, no, you fucking <laughs> don't. 33. He got sick. paid by the wheat mix, like okay, on a contract was- to eat it for every meal. Yeah. So he has like 11 for each meal for the whole year. And it just goes down the line and he says that. And then everyone's sitting down the line. They all look down the line and they're all like, Park, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's such a funny vibe of just being like, you had that much fucking bricks of wheat? <laughs> 33 Fuck. wheat bricks. I, I, it might even fit in a stomach. 27 no, or 33. It was something outrageous, yeah. like 30. I can't remember the exact. It's fucked. I'm fully on board. And I feel like uh, with the milk from my line, we can really have a good thing Ooh, going here, Peter. Oh, that's good. Yeah. A bit of a collaboration. <laughs> That's uh, true. So yeah, I th- I just I like the cultural references, you yes. know, because mm. in uh, Kalos, the French region, I think mm. there's like cream Pokemon and shit. It's oh, like yeah. oh, like patisseries and French and stuff, and, and so I think we got an Australian version of our food culture. Do you do? Do you do? Do you do? And then Bix. All right, put in the comments which ones you would do. Should we uh, get a bit of random topic generator? Yeah, sure. Let's get Let's random. Do it. Jackson's going to give us a random... Can we like do like word. a millennial intro where we're just like, oh my God, this is so random. Nyan cat. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's do the word, millennial intro. Section. We need to we need to like wait three <laughs> seconds, then we start the intro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, can we start the intro? Is it on? Oh, oh <laughs> hey, we're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, this is totally me <laughs> when <laughs> I use <laughs> XD <Gangnam> random <laughs> generator. <laughs> oh, it's feeling overwhelmed. It's pretty, it's pretty random. I was going to have a heart attack just then. All right. You guys wouldn't get it. You're not millennials. Here we go. Grudge. Grudge. You guys oh, like, like holding a grudge? Yeah, do you guys hold a grudge? I don't. I try mm. not to, but obviously it's very difficult grudge. not to. I find it really easy not to. No, that's good. What is your biggest grudge of like, do you, I'm trying to think of some like primary school beef I may have had that never got resolved. Oh, mine's Zachinator at the Smash tournament. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just said you don't hold a grudge. That's yeah, really I, the biggest I, grudge. I only hold a grudge for a meme and I'm also over it. <laughs> yeah, because Zachinator beat you in, I think, two of my meme tournaments. Yeah, and then on the, on the like fun stages and then he was like, um, some would some would say camping. How dare he beat me in the game? <laughs> and then, but then when we went to the real Smash tournament recently, I just love the part where like you find out Peter at the end that me and Jackson both like double eliminated Zachinator, <laughs> and you're like, yeah! and then he was so nice about it. Yeah, <laughs> he was such worst. a nice guy. That, that didn't make it into the tournament video. Hey, it's just like my beef with Zachinator didn't make it into the video. Oh, maybe I watched. I don't remember. I don't it. it was just so, like yeah. I was like, yeah, get him, get him, kill him, and he was like, oh well, good game, boys. I was like. Fuck, he's really <laughs> nice. <laughs> the editor probably watched it and went, nah, <laughs> that did not land. Yeah. <laughs> I have a bit of a grudge with some people from my per- my first primary school. Uh, it was like the people that bullied me and that's why I left the primary school. Oh. They called me Zach the Zebra. Yeah, never and forget. They, uh, that wasn't the full extent of the bullying, laugh. by the way, guys. I like no, to think I- I've got a bit more <laughs> thick skin than that. <laughs> but that was just one thing that I like to bring up. But no, it was like I had these friends and then it would be like at lunchtime, you like go out and like 
where like young boys, but it's the kind of crowd they were like tackling each other and like throwing honky nuts nuts at each other. And I was like, this just isn't me. Yeah, it's like mm. the very like trying to prove your tough sort of Bro, shit. I'm like, not a honky kinda, nut thrower, man. Yeah, kind of like Darrow. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to play Kiss Chasey. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. I was trying to feed my hunky nuts to the birds, bro. Yeah. You throw that shit around. That's a parrot food, motherfucker. I'm a lover. Yeah, so I never really got <laughs> never really got closure on that. That was a bit of a runaway, but if I ever see them again. Mm. Would ooh. you even know what they look like? Nah, not at all. Yeah. Maybe you do see them all the time. Oh shit. Oh wow. Maybe one of you guys. Imagine. <laughs> I'd be I'm probably probably not me. I'm not a hunky nut thrower, man. Don't worry, man. I'm on your side here. So you walked away, walked yeah, away then, from the violence. And then one of them guys was the person that was like, oh, we should both write that like we love this girl because we both had a crush on this girl. Right. And he was like, oh, we should both scratch it onto the shed. And then I scratched my name first and then the principal came and made me apologize to the, the girl. Is this the guy And it was really embarrassing. No. Okay. Uh, Damn. Haven't seen Dang. him since. The That's grudge. a grudge. The grudge. That's hectic. Yeah, I can't think of any like real life grudges, oh. but just when I was playing Smash Bros and trying to be good, then you like you lose and you're like, well... Next week, I want to get them. Yeah. To me. My me brawler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your me brawler. Woo-hoo. Fuck. That's a, yeah, I hold a grudge against your me brawler. That's yeah. my biggest grudge. I beat Jordan maybe three times in like grand finals when we were number one and number two. And every time I beat him, he would come back like three times stronger. Yeah, I would like, that would always be like, you know how you kind of like, you always do enough just to be as good as yeah, you like need cruising. to be. Yeah, you're like cruising. Yeah. So you'd be like, you'd go along and then like you lose and you're like, fuck this. But I would never outskill you. I did just get lucky a few times. That was kind of just the characters you played. Yeah. It was just like... <laughs> Why do you think I played them? It's Donkey like, Kong and... Uh, yeah, like a serial cheeser. If I played Wario, I, it's not like I could get lucky with a couple of ding-dongs, but Donkey Kong? Yeah. Like, oh, shit. That's, you got any Jackson, uh, grudges, Jackson? Mm, try not to. No, but do you, do you have any that you just, like, have fun? Have fun? Like, because my Zachinator was for fun. Oh. Uh, it wasn't... I didn't actually like hate a rival. Him. Yeah. And I guess that's kind of like mm. mine are kind of for fun as well. Yeah. It's like the whole aspect of tournaments is for fun. And you're like, I don't think I, wanna, I do. I want to get them. I, I want to get them like back. I feel like I want to. Maybe I'm- Yeah, like, I think you've gone too far off the spectrum of not wanting to get them. You saw the Michael Jordan documentary, right? Yeah. He's the grudge master. Yeah, he does. So and have he you guys, it to his advantage. Yeah. Have you guys seen it? It's no. So, no. It's just like he's the biggest grudge holder of all time. And like, there's so many memes about like, I don't I know, someone personally. will say something a bit iffy and he's like, and then I took that personally. And that's all I needed. And, and then he like goes out and like I've just seen the clip. Decides yeah. to crush them. Yeah, he's Damn. the ultimate grudge man. I, I've I've had uh, this is a wild thought. Um, I've been thinking, do I ascend to worse person? Huh? Huh? Like, what? do you know how like? Yeah, I know it's fucking <laughs> stupid sounding. Do I ascend to worse? person? Do you think trying to be a good person uh. is uh, just setting yourself up to fail in life? No. No. All right. Well, no. thanks. All right. Cool. What do you mean? I don't know, like people like Michael Jordan, he's holding grudges and he's doing really well. Yeah. And then we're like, we shouldn't hold grudges. It's not the right thing to do. It's like, well, maybe it is because he's doing all right. Yeah, okay. So, so like, do I be... ascend to a bit pettier? Mm, but I don't know I think if it depends on I don't your know field. if it relates to your life. Maybe if it was your job. I think oh, it, it is. You know, field, YouTube's like, competitive. Oh, yeah, yeah but I think then that's it, Has anyone wronged you in YouTube? Oh, I don't know, maybe. But I'm just like, no, nah, it's all right. Maybe I should just be like, no, nah, it's not all right. I'm going to fucking cook you. But I think if you take it out in a positive way, like if you're taking it out on someone by being a better basketballer, that's not yeah, really yeah, negative yeah. energy. Still being a good person. It's not like he went around like slapping people in there. <laughs> yeah, it goes yeah, to their home and slaps them. them. Yeah. Yeah. I so think I think it depends how you, yeah, but like you, you like get the cr- energy. If you like crush them in the next game and they're fucked, they're like, fuck that, man. And now I'm not getting on the next team. You are like putting them down. Yeah. 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 And apparently like all of his teammates like kind of hated him as well. Michael Jordan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you ascend to bad person yeah. to be more successful? Well, I think it depends on your feelings. And it sounds like an insane thought at first, but it, there's something there. Mm. It could be. I'm not. I'm not. That's like Mike Tyson. Like, I think you're in the wrong biz. Not the nice. I'm in the right. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I think it works for like athletes and stuff like that. Maybe it's because so. you can't. You can't be an esports athlete. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you are. Yeah, I think it depends. No, and a lot of businessmen, right? They're like cutthroat, cutthroat. business. Yeah, but I don't think you need to be cutthroat to be a YouTuber. This is my take. YouTube is kind of yeah. like separate. So like you can't directly compete with someone else because they're probably on the other side of the world. So like you holding the grudge is probably going to distract you from making the best content you can make, which would be the best way to compete with them. Yeah, it's a pretty free market, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is good yeah. like that. Like it's, you don't really have to put other people down to be successful. Yeah. Also because there's too much competition, you couldn't even do it. If you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well that was big on grudge. 
Let's do heebie-jeebies. Heebie-jeebies. I'm it, curious what heebie-jeebies. Do you guys do you guys get the heebie-jeebies or anything? Yeah. So <sighs> I what found out about. Okay, sorry. What's the heebie-jeebies? It's a feeling when you see something that is like scary and you don't like. It's usually like a bug or a snake or just like whatever you don't like, and it gives you this weird tingly bad feeling. Wait, do you go like? <laughs> it's that. That is the heebie Okay, I get that all the time because uh, I get that <laughs> specifically <laughs> with spiders. Oh, sorry, for the oh, audio I listeners, spiders. I sort of did a convulsive shake of my body. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I love a lot of things that people would hate. Like, I love snakes and sharks and shit, but spiders just... I don't know why. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Uh, I think for me, it might be cockroaches. Yeah, cockroaches. That's a common one. I would yeah. need to see more. Roaches, definitely. But I've got better at roaches recently. Yeah. I've been trying to work on it. I just haven't seen any like, since yeah. I was little. And yeah. I, you, I'm sure you can still deal with them. Yeah. But it's just like, it's there's something feels bad about dealing with yeah, them. Yeah, it's not great. Mm. It's not great. Yeah, there's like that weird feeling that like this is, just, is wrong. Spiders, yeah, it's just bad. I way prefer to cockroach because I can just take them outside, but you can't reason with a cockroach. No, I, t- <laughs> I take cockroaches outside. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, like spiders will be like, yeah, I probably overstayed my welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I'll chill outside for a bit. Yeah. Cockroach is like, yeah, you, I'm running away. You can't <laughs> reason with a cockroach like you can reason with a spider. Yeah, you can. You spiders can. are like slow though. Yeah, so yeah. I don't get the heebie-jeebies. The speed of a cockroach is what gets me. No, you know, it's actually because they can change direction a lot of times. Oh, same with them. Holly and I saw a mouse in our shed the other day. It was, I was like, it was so fast. It was agile. So fast. Did I don't know where it I don't know if it gave me the heebie-jeebie. I was just shocked. Because I like mice. The, the speed was crazy. Uh, mice, I don't like mice really. Oh, oh really? Them. I love them. Have you ever had a friend with a pet mouse? They look cute. Nah. So cute. Sophie had two before I met her. Oh, So right. she's a big mouse lover. Damn. It looked very cute, but I wasn't sure of like what a wild mice like. Were they just like bite your feet? Because I was barefoot. No, nah, I think wild mice are still kind of chill. Wild rats can fuck off. Oh. Rats are, yeah. Do, Do they, they bite any you? rats? No. Nah. I don't think I've ever mm. seen a rat. Oh, I see them all the time. In Where the do you see rats? In people's backyards. <laughs> in my pantry. <laughs> yeah, in my no. <laughs> we got a real problem. Uh, I don't know if it's because of where I've been living, there's been like more in the suburb or something because yeah. there's a lot of like good gardens and a lot of like big backyards and shit. So I don't know. I've seen, I just saw a lot of rats recently. Yeah. Like Christmas Eve. do this. Yeah. Rat. Rat. <laughs> Christmas Eve, just sitting in my sister's uh, backyard. Yeah. Just rat runs along the fence line. Like, yeah. yeah rat. How do you know it's a rat and not a mouse? Oh, it might have been a mouse. The rats are bigger, right? They're very big. It was pretty dark and they're pretty quick. Um, I think I saw a mouse. So Zach, s- heebie jeebies? Uh, yeah, I get it a lot when, I, when like, you think about something, you know? Yeah. Wh- any, anything in particular? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just the thought of things like. I mean, I don't want to do it to you guys, but like when people say like putting a toothpick under your toenail. Oh, like, oh yeah, just like, like generally cringe. Yeah, oh. it's like things that all like nails on the chalkboard or painful nah, pain or like, things. Oh yeah, or pain things and disgusting things. Like if some if someone like forced me to think about a cockroach like wriggling around in my undies or something, <laughs> I'd probably be. Like, <laughs> but it's, I don't know. Is it all thing to do with your own body? Because I just right. see a spider doing its own thing, and I'm just like, yeah. Anytime you see those know. medieval I'm gonna, videos. I'm going to document the next time I get the heebie Yeah, yeah. Can, I, can we have a heebie-jeebies update? Because I feel like there's nothing specific, but it just, Sorry, it's, it's almost random. Yeah, It'll okay. Be, it's something just hits a certain note for me and I'll just have a full body like shudder. I want you to keep a diary of your heebie-jeebies. You guys have seen those medieval videos where they talk about like, just what human, what's the deal oh, with like humans? Like the worst tortures in yeah. history and shit. What is with that? Yeah. Humans are just evil. No, I don't yeah. Like just that. putting someone in a bull and lighting it on fire. Oh, yeah. So it's the metal and you bull. just burn in it. What? Have you not, like all the medieval torture stuff or just how they killed people putting back in the day. Putting someone in a bull and lighting it's it on fire. It's a metal fire. bull, like, uh, like not a real bull. Like it's a basically metal, just like it oh, turns oh, into basically oh, an oven. Uh, yeah, putting people in an oven, just turning it on. Man, that took someone a lot of time to turn into a bull That's for I mean, no like, reason. We got pretty that. fucking creative with the ways we fucked each other up. You oh, know? and they just tie everyone to a horse and send them all running in Drawn different directions. Yeah, that's getting corded. Like, what is all that? Wait, what's mm. that one? A horse attached you, to each limb by a rope and they send them all running in different directions. Guys, this is about to give me the heebie-jeebies. Oh. So if that, like, why do people come up with this? Like, You, you know, have to think of that instead of just like, you could have just stabbed him. You ever heard the thing hung, drawn and corded? Yeah. It's if you really didn't like someone, you hung them and then they died. Yeah. I don't remember what drawn is and then you caught them. So you killed them three times yeah over. okay yeah see Why? thinking about torture is definitely heebie-jeebie producing yeah that's fair do you reckon it reminds you of like there's austin powers when they would take the piss out of him just never killing I him seen it oh really yeah that's what it reminds me of just like just kill him yeah why are we yeah. doing all this insane shit yeah, humans are weird eh? yeah yeah we do some weird shit heebie-jeebies i think that might be a part two coming next week. i don't know it's just a weird feeling do you think that if I like start recording my heebie-jeebies, I reckon I could learn a lot about myself? Yeah, dude. Let's find some like deep 
set fears or trauma and then maybe deal with that? That's why I was Whoa. interested because I was like, what, what, like, what, what, what just triggers you? What, I, what is I, it? I was learning about similar to Huber Jubies, icks. <laughs> I love oh, icks. Oh man, what's your biggest ick? <laughs> I don't think I really had any, but then, so I went to, before I came out with you guys on New Year's Eve, I was with my sister and a bunch of her friends just like hanging out. Yeah. And they were trying to explain to me what icks were. Yeah. And the, everything. <laughs> it's one of those things. Do you remember how I was telling you about the colored flags, like green mm. flags, beige flags, yeah, red yeah, flags? Yeah, yeah. It's a TikTok thing. The X Sorry, thing. real quick. What's a beige flag? Oh, it's really funny. It's just like something that's interesting about a person, but it's neither good nor bad. Right. Okay. It's it's just like oh. something. It's, it's, it's a real weird way of saying a quirk, but it's just like- Plays ultimate Frisbee. Yeah, my beige flag mm. plays ultimate Frisbee. It's like, I mean, he's athletic, but it's pretty fucking weird. Yeah. So it's like beige flag. I think I think about all this TikTok- uh, phenomenons like the flags, the icks, you just can't exist. <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. Why do you think I don't Gen really Z know has them. crippling social anxiety? They, yeah. I, I completely understand. They're fucked, man. Because everything, everything. The is only it. thing it's I like, know about icks is when it's like, it seems to just be like men doing a kind of feminine thing. Like I saw a woman like, oh, my ick is when a man is chasing his coins that he's dropped. <laughs> Huge ick. Leave it. Huge ick. Yeah, they were telling me all sorts of stuff. No, even There's stuff. Really what was funny one ones. that someone said? Oh, wearing sunglasses on the back of your neck. Oh, apparently. Oh, that's a huge that's ick. Bad. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. Oh, okay. Well, I think the problem, like, I think it's a funny term, but it's one of these things they always just go too far, mm. and so it's the same with red flags, and people start saying things that are just too far that aren't even red flags. So, yeah. like. I used to think that I hated the term ick. Yeah. Because I was like, well, that's just like, just fucking everything. Just say it's something I don't like. Yeah. Until I actually understood the exact feeling and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, do yeah. you have one? Well, it's something where it's just like, you can't describe why it's bad, but it just reminds you of something that is just not quite right. Like, yeah, okay. The sunglass on the back of the neck, that's like, that's something that someone who is like 50 would do. Right. But if a 20 year old is doing it, it's like, what the fuck? Uh, it's fine. I'm trying to think. It's, of- it, there's, it's the, the point is, is that there's no rational <laughs> yeah. reason. Yeah, and it's you can't describe it's it. Like so it's the only way situation. to. I don't know. Everyone's gonna die. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. My thoughts. So true. Um, <laughs> is is on a podcast a huge ick <laughs> oh you know Probably. what I it gotta be bro it has a podcast as an ick I think um someone was saying the, <laughs> this one made me laugh um The Dark Knight is their favourite movie ick <laughs> oh yes <laughs> and I was like oh my god you can't do anything having two monitors was one of the first like yeah, light up keyboard <laughs> and two monitors <laughs> yeah. oh Two like monitors, they, ick. Yeah, but it's. I guess it's if it's kind of like more normal, it's a red flag. But if it's more specific, it's an ick. Is that kind of? Yeah, yeah. If, if right? you just see something, and it instantly makes you go, it's like, ugh. That's, that's an ick. ick, right? But a red flag's more ominous. If right? you think about it, it's a red flag. If you don't think about it, it's an ick. Okay. My favorite thing is an ick is an hyper specific icks, like that chasing coins one. That's so funny. So to good. Me. I'm trying to think for like you three guys. What is your biggest ick to me? I haven't thought of any yet, but maybe that's well, something like to go home and like. That- well, like, I'm sure there's things that you guys do that just give oh, me a bit of give like- give you yeah. an ick. Drives the Pokemon car. I don't think we need to do that to each other. <laughs> I no, but they, I, I, they don't actually hurt anyone's feelings because I'm not trying to smash. I don't know them yet. <laughs> no, I, don't know, I haven't thought of any, so you guys are really clever. Jackson, you're ickless, mate. Don't even worry about it. Oh, great. Uh, I, one I, thing, I doubt it. I Apart from the glasses, that's an ick. I yeah. wouldn't call it an ick. <laughs> See? <laughs> I'm I w- joking. I wouldn't call it an ick because yeah. I think I'm kind of in the wrong here, but I hate the phrase, it's giving. And What's it's giving? How do you use that? I've never heard that. Wait, have you heard it, Peter? I it sounds familiar. It's Is it like oh, uh, you guys are behind the times then? Because I, I on. thought I was. It's so popular, like um, in like Zuma. I don't like more it's female something vibes or yeah. something. Oh yeah, yeah. They're not just a phrase by itself. Oh. but it gets shorter and shorter. So it was like it's given. Uh, let's say like. Oh, fuck, what is it? Like it's giving Peter. red flag energy girl. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just a lot of Zuma words. Like, yeah, oh, like, I did not oh, understand that. What talk. does that mean? No, but or it's like, like I'm, I am I am getting a red flag from you when you do this. Oh, you are giving me a this it's thing. Like, it's like, oh, Jackson, you're sitting cross-legged. It's giving red flag vibes. Right. It's giving red flag energy. Like for Peter, I might say like, it's giving surfer. Because you like look yeah, like yeah. a surfer. Oh, so you're just basically Except eliminating the English language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, but that's then, the evolution of it. But then it's gotten further, and now sometimes people just say, "Oh, that's giving." For, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> giving what? Giving what? Exactly. Okay. It's just like it's kind of just like that could wh- be my When would maybe? I use it's that? An, it's an adjective. Is it like anything? saying that's a vibe? Because it's like, what is the vibe? Yeah. No, it's a vibe. Yeah. Okay. You can I say it. it to Jackson. You can literally say it to anything. It's a vibe. It's giving. And it's like I guess 
But like, it's usually you. more positive, I think. Right. Oh, Fuck. it's giving. That's so giving. like, if you see like a dog shit on the street, you're not going to be like, ooh, that's <laughs> ooh, giving. That's giving. <laughs> but this but podcast, it's I also, giving. Also like the dog poo is also not a vibe. Yeah. But it is a vibe. The vibe is just bad. But oh, you could God. be like- <laughs> I'm getting a headache. My uh, ick is this, whatever this is called. Yeah, but like- Jackson, not giving up with the young lingo, ick. Yeah, probably. I'm glad it is. Red flag. <laughs> I hope so. Um, I only figured it out because like Maddie has started like using it more. And then I like peeked over her shoulder at some of the uh, like TikToks of reels or whatever she was watching. And man, it's in like half of them. There's the chicks are always saying like, mm, it's giving this. And Maybe this. that's just her algorithm. Oh. Eh? <laughs> I don't know if it's half of all giving. TikTok. Watching too much TikTok know. might she's, be an ick for me. Actually, there you go. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, I've done one. Too much, a phone girl. That's an ick. A phone girl. What oh is yeah, a phone if, if, girl. Just someone who's always on the phone. On the phone a lot. But it's always girls. <laughs> no, well, it can be phone boys. <laughs> too. I just don't like boys that yeah, much. Yeah. <laughs> Not really a pair of ick, I guess. <laughs> oh, Penis. It's like a sexy thing. No. A non-sexy thing. Uh, it so. is a very non-sexy thing. Yeah. No, that's what I mean. What's it's too like much, An ick is for like a, a partner. I think so. Oh, is okay. it? I think it's more like, like a red flag is for a partner too, you know? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Because I like, would be like, oh, my dad's giving me the ick. I don't think so. Yeah, that's so. not quite right, is it? That sounds a bit strange. I think you proved your point here, Jordan. Well okay, done. Okay, okay. No, well done. Yeah, learning. Congratulations. Learning. That's X. X. How does X. anyone? How does anyone find love? Oh, these I mean, days. Tell me if you find. We've love. done it. Oh no, I, I mean, I mean, Zoomers. Yeah, I don't. Oh, know. Sorry, oh, I have found love, and they find a millennial like us. Oh no, no. <laughs> like it's getting harder. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I was based for a second. I was not. <laughs> it's giving. I mean, let's just uh, remember, Peter is two years away from the cutoff, so not problematic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't if worry, you're guys. on the upper end of millennials, don't listen to that advice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not yucking anyone's yum. Yeah. If you're into a, a cougar or an older man, respect a bit of a silver fox or a cougar. I'm not heaving anyone's jeebies. Yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> heave my jeep. <laughs> Dude, we got to make that a thing. No, we don't. Instead of don't harsh the vibe jeep. or yuck my yum, don't, it's, don't heave my jeep. Instead of my that's jeebies. a big, that's a heave. That's a heave. <laughs> and then is a jeep good? <laughs> yeah. Yep. I guess. No, wait. So. Yuck my yum. So jeep is good. Heave is bad. My yeah. jeep don't heave my jeep. Don't jeep doesn't my sound jeep. good. Jeep sounds all right. Sounds better what do you than mean? It's giving jeep. <laughs> Can we move on? I think we're done. How long are we, we going on? for? I think we're ending the no, pod. we had another segment, right? Oh, welcome everyone. I'm waiting for some applause. Thank you <laughs> to a wonderful night of comedy. We got some good acts coming up for you today. We got Jordan Ridley coming up first, warming up the crowd. I'm also the entire crowd. Hello. Wait, I thought you're warming up yeah. the crowd because you're the host. Where this act? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, um, I forgot. So okay, this yeah, yeah. be a comedy bit. I Before we get Jordan Ridley to come out, I'm going to warm up the crowd a little bit. Uh, how you guys all doing tonight? Are we doing well? Doing good, thanks. Yeah, yeah I'm all right. Yep. Woo. Yeah, anyone here with their partner? No. Oh, man in the pink shirt. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Barry. Barry, and how long have you two known each other? Oh, we're married, so 10 years uh, tomorrow. Oh, wow, well, Baron, what do you do for work? Sorry. Can someone get that guy off? <laughs> uh, I'm a fireman. Fireman? Uh, so. So you can. What you're saying is you can uh, carry her. I mean, yeah, I do, I do carry people. What's your favorite buildings. sex position? It's <laughs> uh, a bit of a personal question. We just. Um, missionary? Because he's always on a mission to put out fires. Jordan Ridley, ladies and gentlemen, get me off this stage. Hey, everyone. What is the deal with animals liking to get patted, but they can't get patted by anyone but us? <laughs> I saw a video of a shark getting pet and it loved it. And it's like, when is it ever going to get pet? I forgot this was a stand-up bit and I wanted to just ask you this question. No, this is <laughs> <laughs> it's the puppet one question of the week. <laughs> oh, it's on the other page. It's the puppet one question of the week. What does it do with animals getting pet and then they love getting pet and like scratch, but they can't never get scratched or pet? What is that? Well, what other animals do you think would like getting pet? That's what I mean, a shark. Other, but they never get pet. They old. All of do you them. Do you like getting pet? We just, they're just too small. Oh, we were talking before the pod started about how cockroaches love being in tight spaces. Yeah, they'd love yeah, to, they'd get, love to get a little touching tickle. Them. I think it's- Imagine uh, petting a cockroach. I think social animals just like to be stroked, right? Yeah. Because it just like, it simulates Ooh. closeness. All right. Yeah. Stroke my cock, I roach. Think, okay. <laughs> you just said that. 
What? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> asked. <laughs> you were telling us a story, a Peter, horse, a horse of, likes a, it, though. of a cockroach, right? Someone had a pet cockroach that you knew. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a curse story for the for the pod, honestly. But uh, oh, just the, having a pet cockroach yeah, pet, is all I wanted. Pet to- giant burrowing cockroach. Hey, what's the deal with that? They would probably pet that roach. Yeah. I don't think they would pet that. I don't pet my fish. <laughs> no, nah, I, I I remember mm. I had, you know, when like in school, they would have wildlife people come in very, very rarely. Yeah. I'd be like, here's an, uh, an owl. Yeah. Yeah, they did that. And they had a giant burrowing cockroach. Whoa. And they were like, who wants to come and dig it out of the ground? And everyone's like shooting their hands. I'm like, me, me, me. And I didn't get it. But I remember watching someone dig what, it out they, and hold it on their hand and like <gasps> pat it and shit. Oh. They're real big, so they're less scary when yeah, they're bigger. It, that, I would prefer that to be my room than a normal You were cockroach. fucking heaving my jeans no. right now. Yeah, but like, didn't know. When it's literally like, you know, a couple inches long, it's a lot slower for its size. Yeah. So they're just kind of chill. Yeah. Like, imagine, I'm on a, board. imagine a giant fly just slowly moving around. You're like... <laughs> Yeah, that'd be cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so loud. No, this guy's cool. This guy's all right. I mean, you're not going to lose it. Yeah, true. Put and a bell if on you it. know it's harmless, because like a spider, I don't know if they're harmless, right? So a giant one is kind of like scary. Yeah. But like a giant harmless thing's pretty fucking chill. Yeah, what does a cockroach eat? Just Cardboard. Shit. I found out. Cardboard. I've done a lot of cockroach research. Rubbish. I hate them so much. They eat anything because like they're not going to get fed by anyone. So they just hang out. If they got little, do they have a little tiny mouths that couldn't hurt us? Yeah. Oh. They don't buy it. Because like, yeah, if a cockroach goes on you and it's wanting to eat everything, will it just eat you? We just think they're gross. <laughs> Imagine, I lost my leg to a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. He ate it throughout the night. If they eat cardboard, they'll surely eat skin. You know when you have mm. like a cockroach, uh, you see one in your room and then it like gets somewhere where you can't see and then you have to go to bed and you're just worst. like, it's fucking oh, somewhere. Worst. It, worst thing ever. Imagine waking up with one leg. Even worse. <laughs> True. Just goes to town and, uh, overnight. A cockroach with a napkin around its neck, <laughs> just like wiping its lips. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like, Who did that? Guilty. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this cockroach so gay? <laughs> Mafioso. No magicio. It's going out on its only, only its hind legs. <laughs> <laughs> just struts out of your room. Sister, <laughs> that <Sissabat> walk. <laughs> But yeah, I just thought that was a bit sad for all the animals. Yeah, great. What's the deal with? I think they kind of strike each other when they cuddle, but it's we just have got it worked out to a side. We're just too good at it. Because we're, we're sick at it because we're so dexterous. I yeah. want to pat a giraffe on this entire neck. <laughs> it's giving cockroach. Even like bears. Have you seen when they set up like bears in like, they put something on a tree so they can rub themselves and they uh, yeah. go yeah, crazy. They scratch their backs on it. Yeah. The bear yeah, would love no, a good scratch. No one's ever scratching bears. I reckon That's what I, I mean, a Russian guy would, would shit like that. I would love it. Tummy scratching a grizzly bear. <laughs> Alpha move. Yeah. <laughs> and then you instantly die. The bears are hell cute, but they're pretty scary. Huh? Yeah, they're, it's they're a real terrifying. shame. They made something so cute, so yeah. dangerous. So sick. Can you eat bears? You can eat yeah, anything. Yeah, surely. What does it taste like? I wouldn't know. Bear. bear. Apparently horse is very good though. Yeah, wow. I've never fun, eaten fun bear. Fact. I mean, I've probably eaten horse, just I didn't know, right? You reckon? Sausage? Oh, surely. In like a meat pie or something. Mm. Mm. Meat pie's got all sorts of tricks and tricks. Yeah, who knows? So. <laughs> who, who knows what we've eaten? Mm. Curse thought. Yeah, it's not called a beef pie, but I always assume it's beef. Meat. Yeah, it's a meat it's pie. It's meat. meat. Mm. Something's in there. Anyway, do I, should I do my what's yeah, with? I'd yeah, like yeah, I'm going back. With. Ba- get back on the deck. Uh, Jordan, can you uh, sub me in yes. after your bit? Yeah. Please don't make me do crowd work again. That's so hard. You're yeah, right, now, you wonder, you, know, you know why Jordan's having it's such awful. a tough one. Wait, what am I doing? I feel like most comedians, they have a few like things in the back of their mind for a lot of different jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's a really weird job, you just ask about it. If someone's like, oh, I'm a sex therapist, that plays itself. Oh, they itself. just point out how weird it is if it's super weird. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like, that is a crazy one. And you're here with them? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you just kind of just make fun of them. Anyway, Jordan, swing it over to me. Uh, and here we have Peter. Hey guys, hey, how's it going? <laughs> so I was thinking like, guys, what's, what's the deal with casual sex? Hmm. I'm already competitive sex myself. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's a really intimate thing to do with someone you don't really know. Anyway, oh, you guys have been great. Bye. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a smash gym, like sex on Final <laughs> yeah, Destination good, good, or something. Good call on the boom. <laughs> I mean, the most laughs I've ever got out of what's the deal with from Jordan. That one worked. What happened? <laughs> Competitive sex. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to go Get way more. Here. I thought it was going to go way deeper. Turn items on. I thought it was going to go deep. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, if it was competitive, it might go deep, but yeah. I'm not really in it to win it, so I might yeah. just keep it shallow. Hey, oh. Shallow hell. <laughs> yeah.